everyone, Maya here from My Storybook, and welcome back to today's interactive read aloud. I am so excited that you are here to join me for Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month, where every weekday of this month, My Storybook is sharing a new interactive read aloud with you, featuring children's books with Asian characters or books that were created by Asian illustrators and authors. There are so many incredible books in this month's lineup, my friends, so if you are curious to see what we've already read or what we will be reading next, Go ahead and check out my blog post by clicking on the link down in the description below and there you'll find all of the reading adventures we will be going on and have gone on this May. Or you can subscribe to my Storybook YouTube channel and check out our Read Aloud playlist, the one called Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month, to see all of the reading adventures we've read and all of the upcoming ones we will be going on next. Well, my friends, for today's interactive read aloud, we have a very fun one about a little Indian boy who has a big imagination. And he's going to use his imagination to go on so many amazing adventures on his way home from school. So my friends, if you have a humongous imagination and you love adventure too, this is the perfect read aloud for you. Are you ready to get started? Double thumbs up if you're ready to begin. All right, let's get started. So the title of today's interactive read aloud is Is Nimesh the Adventurer? Written by Ranjit Singh, illustrated by my doctor Amini. So that means that Ranjit Singh, who's the author, wrote all of the words and then the illustrator, my doctor Amini, what was their job? to draw all of the pictures that you are about to see. And these pictures are so amazing. These illustrations are so creative because again, our little boy here, Nimesh, has an incredible imagination and we're going to get to go on all of his imaginative adventures with him as we read this story. Before we get started though, this book, my friends, is being read with permission from Lantana Publishing. They are the ones who helped create this book and share it with all of us. So big thank you to them for letting us share this reading adventure together. All right, let's take a look at this cover and what do you notice going on? Already we see some of Nimesh's amazing imagination. Right, it looks like this little boy is riding on the back of a tiger it kind of looks like a tiger it looks like a tiger maybe with like dragon feet like a blend of different animals and he's riding on the back and he's just riding through town it looks like oh my does it look like fun <laughs> my friends if you could ride on the back of any creature what creature would you want to ride on <laughs> and that's right it could be a made-up creature too oh <gasps> I know, that adds so many more possibilities. Okay, but I think we're ready to get started. So let's find out what adventures Nimesh is going on. Ready? Okay, let's begin. So here we have the title of our book, Nimesh the Adventurer, our author and illustrator, and our publisher, Lantana Publishing. And this looks like the same picture on the cover, right? The boy riding on the back of this creature. Now, before we begin, my friends, as we read this story, you're going to notice that First of all, if I look at the words here, it looks like they are in two different fonts. Fonts means the shape of the letters. And if you notice, one way that the words are written is this little like plain straight line writing that's thinner. There's this more bold, chunky white text, right? That's a bit more curvy. You're going to notice that it's going to sound like two people are talking in this story. Like someone, the one in the thin, smaller letters, is talking to Nimesh. And Nimesh is going to be talking in these white, chunky letters. So it's kind of like we are having a conversation with Nimesh as we read this story. Hmm. Well, let's get started. Hello, Nimesh. Is school over? So it's like we're asking Nimesh. And Nimesh says, school? My friend, this is not a school. It's an ancient cave. And shh, or you'll wake. Dot, dot, dot. And it's called an ellipsis when you see those three dots. And that means there's something that's going to continue on the other page. <gasps> so already Nimesh's imagination is at work. He says, what? We're not at school. And be quiet or otherwise you'll wake up the... What do you think we might wake up? There's a clue on this page. <laughs> Let's see. You might wake up the dragon. Oh. Is there really a dragon in the classroom? Not 
really, right? But his imagination is going to take him on all these cool adventures as he goes from school to home, my friends. What do you notice going on in this picture? The dragon is sleeping at the table, and what's over here? Looks like there's some math going on, right? Because it's like a school cave, right? They're at school, but it's a cave. And now, Nimesh says, we arrive at the bottom of the ocean. It looks like a corridor to me, Nimesh. So it looks just like a hallway to me. And what do you see in this hallway? Right, I see there's a big poster of a shark. Maybe people were studying sharks. It says Shark Week study. And I'm thinking that's why he says they're at the bottom of the ocean because there's this shark over here. So Namesh is like, it's the bottom of the ocean, but we're like, it looks just like a corridor. Then Namesh says, corridor. Why would a corridor be full of, what do you think? Ah, <laughs> uh, sharks. Why would the corridor be filled with sharks? Come, let us swim to the exit. So my friends, can you get out your arms and can you pretend to swim this new mesh? Come on, swim, swim, swim like you're swimming to the exit. Ah, dodge the sharks. Oh my, great job dodging those sharks. And I see so many other underwater creatures as well. What do you notice? Right. Oh, so we made it. Looks like we're outside of school. Are you going down this road, Nimesh? Road? What road? My friend, we have reached. So it's not gonna be a road. What do you think Nimesh is gonna turn this into? Let's see. I see if I'm reading these signs here, it says, team up ski wear, snow trail, ski shop. Hmm, the sky looks like what color? White, that might give us some clues. What do you think? It's not a road. Instead, we reached uh, the North Pole. Look at these glaciers of ice. Hear those avalanches of snow. Can you feel the ground tremble? Ooh, watch as I skate across the ice with my sled of dogs. Okay, my friends, let's join in on his adventure. Pretend you're on your sled and with your dogs and you're sliding on the ice slide. Ready? You gotta steer your dog so too. And maybe you uh, shiver a bit because it's cold. And do you hear the rumble? Rumble, rumble, rumble. Oh my, what a fun North Pole adventure. <laughs> Be careful crossing the road, Nimesh. Don't worry, I have Charlie to help me across. He looks old, but don't be fooled. He was once. <gasps> what do you think he once was? He was one, a guardsman for the Indian Maharaja. Oh, really, Namesh? Oh, yes, he told me so. He once backflipped right across the Maharaja's table. Ah, oh, so it looks like he used to be a very important guardsman. And guardsmen, what do you know about guardsmen? <laughs> they have to be strong, good fighters too, probably. So he backflipped across the Maharaja's table and didn't even smash or break anything. Wow, very skilled, my friends. Can you get up and can you pretend to do a cool flip or a twist in the air? Wow, and I bet you didn't even smash or break anything either. Oh, here comes the pastry shop. So pastry shop filled with yummy sweets. <gasps> Ooh, before I turn the page, what sweets do you notice in this pastry shop? Mmm, they look delicious. I see cupcakes. Oh, look at this boat here. Oh, do you think that might be a clue? What adventure do you think Nimesh is going to go on next? Maybe. So here comes the pastry shop and Nimesh says, you mean dot, dot, dot. Was your guess right about what adventure we were going on? You mean the pirate ship? Pirates don't scare me. I'm Nimesh the Adventurer. Oh, okay, my friends, get out your swords, pretend swords, and battle the pirates. Do, do, do. That was such a fun adventure. Ooh, pirate adventures are so much fun. Mm -hmm. And what do you notice going on in this picture? There's lots of little details going on here. I see Nimesh is fighting with a loaf of bread, right? There's all these pirates down here, like, oh, what's going on? And Nimesh says, we'll find a beach behind those palm trees. Ooh, 
Ooh. No, we'll find the local park, Nimesh. That's not a feat. No, says Nimesh. We'll find. <gasps> so, hmm, what do you think he's going to turn this beautiful place into? Oh, and for this page, my friends, I actually have to turn the book this way, vertical, up and down. And who do we see here? <laughs> we'll find a princess in a garden. <gasps> Oh, so that person sitting there, he turned them into a princess. And she has, oh, look, a deer next to her, this animal. I don't see any princesses here, Nimesh. Sounds like someone's got to use your imagination, right? Oh, my friend, so what might you say or do if you see a princess? Let's maybe give a bow, give a curtsy bow to the princess. And what might you say? Hello, princess. Good day. How are you today? You'd be very polite, right? Oh, and here they are somewhere new. And what's this, Nimesh? Is it a cave full of gold or an emperor's castle or perhaps a lush forest? This place here. Mm. Oh, I wonder. Uh, what do you think it is? And Nimesh is this place? Don't be silly. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, wait a minute. What do you think this place is or who's that? Maybe that's Mama, and if that's Mama, then where must Nimesh be? Don't be silly, says Nimesh. This is home. The end. So Nimesh finally makes it home, and home you don't need to use your imagination to turn into something really exciting, because home is exciting, right? Home is the most special place to be. And I see here he is with his family. And oh, if I look here, I see a photograph of some real people. I'm wondering if maybe those are people that the author or illustrator know when they put them in the story. What do you notice going on in this picture? <coughs> I see Nimesh and his mom and probably his dad or his family. Maybe grandma and grandma, uncle, auntie, uncle. I don't know. But it looks like these are the people he lives with at home and oh they look so happy to be together the end oh my what a fun adventure story i had so much fun going on all of those adventures with me meshing acting out all of his imaginings my friends what was your favorite part or your favorite adventure that we went on on this book Yes, I really like the underwater one because I love to swim. So pretending to swim away from the sharks is really fun. But there are so many fun ones. If you'd like to go back and read this story again and go on all of those adventures some more, my friends, definitely do that. You can just rewind the video and hear the read aloud again. It's always so much fun to hear a story another time. Well, my friends, this is a really cool read aloud. If maybe after this, if you want to go outside and go for a walk and See what adventures you can imagine and create while you're going on your walk. Maybe you see some trees and you turn it into a jungle adventure. Or maybe you live near some water and you turn it into an ocean adventure. It'd be really cool to see what adventures you come up with. So, well, if you do go on some amazing adventures, my friends. I would love to hear all about them. So if you'd like to reach out to me and share with me, you can find me on Instagram, on the blog, YouTube, email, social media links can all be found there down below. I love hearing from each and every one of you. Also, if you enjoyed this interactive read aloud, please be sure to subscribe to my storybook YouTube channel and give this video a thumbs up. That way you can follow along on all of our upcoming read-alouds and the rest of our read-aloud lineup for Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month this May. Otherwise, my friends, that brings us to the end of today's interactive read-aloud. So I hope that you have plenty of fun adventuring and using your own imagination. But until next time, happy reading.